a line with the direction ratios 2 comma 1 comma 2 meets the lines x is equal to y plus 2 is equal to z and another line x plus 2 is equal to 2y is equal to 2z at the points p and q respectively and if the length of the perpendicular from the point 1 comma 2 comma 12 from the point let us consider 1 comma 12 2 comma 12 say this is r upon the line say this is m is l units then what is the square of l so the given line equation first line equation x is equal to y plus 2 is equal to z which can be taken as x minus 0 upon 1 is equal to y plus 2 upon 1 is equal to z minus 0 upon 1 let us consider to be is equal to some lambda so that x is equal to lambda y is equal to lambda minus 2 and z is equal to lambda and now another line so any point we can say that any point on the first line can be taken as lambda comma lambda minus 2 comma lambda let us consider to be this point p and now from the second line x plus 2 is equal to 2y is equal to 2z we can express it as x plus 2 upon 1 is equal to y minus 0 upon 1 upon 2 is equal to z minus 0 upon 1 upon 2 let us consider to be is equal to mu so that x coordinate we can write mu minus 2 y coordinate we can write mu by 2 and z coordinate we can write mu by 2 so any point on this line we can write any point on this line can be taken as say let us q q is the point mu minus 2 comma mu upon 2 comma mu upon 2 so we got the points p and q in terms of lambda and mu so the line passing through the points p and q general point we can consider lambda comma lambda minus 2 comma lambda and point q we can take mu minus 2 comma mu upon 2 comma mu upon 2 and the line which is drawn perpendicular from the point this is 1 comma 2 comma 2 12 and given here direction ratios of line say pq are 2 comma 1 comma 2 so that we can write direction ratios of any line joining two points is the difference between the coordinates x coordinate y coordinate z coordinate so we can write here lambda minus of mu minus 2 upon 2 is equal to lambda minus 2 minus mu upon 2 divided by 1 lambda minus mu upon 2 divided by 2 so that is lambda minus mu plus 2 upon 2 is equal to here we can write 2 lambda minus 4 minus mu upon 2 
is equal to 2 lambda minus mu upon 4. Now comparing and equating this both. So we can write 2 lambda minus 4 minus mu is equal to lambda minus mu plus 2 upon 2 upon 2 gets cancelled. So we can write lambda is equal to and even minus mu minus mu also get cancelled. So 2 lambda minus lambda that is lambda is equal to 6. So we got lambda is equal to 6 here and similarly simplifying the later two equations we will get 2 lambda minus 4 minus mu upon 2 is equal to 2 lambda minus mu upon 4. So we can write here 2 2 times. So 4 lambda minus 8 minus 2 mu is equal to 2 lambda minus mu or we can also write 2 lambda 2 lambda minus 8 is equal to 2 mu minus mu that is mu and lambda value is 6 we can write 2 into 6 12 12 minus 8 which is equal to mu so we can say that mu value is 4 so lambda is equal to 6 and mu is equal to 4 so we get the points here this point p can be taken as 6 comma 6 minus 2 4 comma 6 and point q can be taken as mu minus 2 that is 4 minus 2 2 comma 4 upon 2 is 2 and 4 upon 2 is, is 2 so the point 6 comma 4 comma 6 and point q is 2 comma 2 comma 2 so now the points we can say the point p 6 comma 4 comma 6 and point q 2 comma 2 comma 2 and point r is 1 comma 2 comma 12 let us find the equation of pq equation of a line passing through two different points can be taken as x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 so here we can write equation of pq line as x minus 6 upon 2 minus 6 or we can write x minus 2 let us consider this is x1 y1 z1 and here it is x2 y2 z2 so x minus 2 upon x2 minus x1 that is 6 minus 2 4 y minus y upon y2 minus y1 that is 4 minus 2 2 z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1 that is 4 so which can also be written x minus 2 upon 2 is equal to y minus 2 upon 1 is equal to z minus 2 upon 2 and let us consider is equal to k to get the general point m so any point any point on the line pq can be taken as m is 2k plus 2 and y coordinate from k plus 2 and z coordinate we can write 2k plus 2. So this is the point m and the direction ratios of line joining m and r can be taken as 2k plus 2 minus 1 so that is 2k plus 2 minus 1 comma k plus 2 minus 2 comma 2k plus 2 minus 12 so which in turns we can write 2k plus 1 comma k comma 2k minus 10 so these are the direction ratios of line joining m and r and now we know that this is a perpendicular to the pq since mr is perpendicular to pq so we can write 
the direction ratios of <coughs> PQ as the direction ratios of PQ are 1, 2, and 12. Sorry, 2, 1, 2. So 2, comma 1, 2, comma 1, comma 2. That is 2 times of 2K plus 1 plus 1 times of K plus 2 times of 2K minus 10 is equal to 0. Since two lines are perpendicular, we have the condition a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 where a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are the direction ratios of two perpendicular lines so which on simplifying we'll get 4k plus 2 plus 1k plus 4k minus 20 is equal to 0 that is 5k plus 4k that is 9k and again here minus 18 is equal to 0 which implies k is equal to 2 so the value of k is 2 so we can write the point m as the point m can be taken as 2 into 2 plus 2 that is 4 plus 2 6 and the value of k plus 2 is 2 plus 2 4 and 2k plus 2 is again 6 now the length mr is equal to we can write under root of r is a point 1 comma 2 comma 12 so 6 minus 1 that is 5 square and 4 minus 2 that is 2 square and 6 minus 12 that is minus 6 whole square which is equal to root of 25 plus 4 plus 36 so under root of 25 plus 4 or 36 plus 4 40 plus 25 65 which is L given. So therefore L square is equal to 65. So we can conclude the answer is 65.